Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I simply added one of the script. Right now we have to add some of the script for adding that validation. So for adding that validation, first of all, we have to do like that is it will be executed in our that form, right? So into this form area, I simply want to do, I want to take one of the ID. I simply take one of the ID and I just name that ID as a my form. Okay, I name it as a my form. So this type of one of the ID, I simply add it for in our form area. Now, first of all, we have to we have to get this ID, uh, like that is our script. So into this script, first of all, I want to do want to add that our document. So that will be as a document. I simply loaded that document. Document will be as a ready, and then that will be one of the function. Okay, I simply loaded one of the function. So that is our function. Perfect. I simply loaded this function. And after that, first of all, I want to do want to get that our ID. So if you want to get it, then I have already named that our ID name. Our ID name will be as a my form. So if you want to get this ID, we have to add that we add that things with the hash, and then that will be our ID, right? And also we have to make it in our single code. So that is a single code. Great. So after that, I want to do want to access our one of the default method as a validate method. Okay, so that will be the valid date so that is our validate method i want to do i want to use that validate method so in our validate method area here i want to do i want to add one of the rules okay so i simply name it as a rules so i name it as a rules okay so that is a rule so these rules will be executed in our which place that means right now i want to do i want to take our name I have already added our input field name. I name it as a block category. So block category, I want to make it as a required, okay? So I copy it. Now that will be our name, our field name as a block category. So in this block category area here, first of all, I want to do and to make it as a required, required. So that will be as a required and required area, I want to make it as a true. Okay, so that means that is one of the required field. So if you have that multiple one, okay, like if you have that multiple one, then simply you have to do, you have to take it. And then uh, again, you have to use that another name as a blog title, okay, title. So if you have that another field, you can actually add it as a blog title. That will be the required, the same process. So right now I have only one field for the reasons I want to take only one. Right now we don't need this. That is our one field, right? So in our here, in our form area, there is only one field and I just name it as a block category. So I simply make it a block category is required and I make that as a required as a true. That means that will be obviously on the required field. And after that, I want to use one of the message. Okay, so here I want to show some of the message when that will be as a required. I want to show some of the message, right? So if you want to do this work, then that will be as a message. So into this messages area here, I want to do our field name again, our field name as uh, here as a block title. So in order for the block title, I want to show that our message, our message I want to do when that will be the required, okay, when that will be the required, our required message, message will be like as a please, please enter, okay, enter blog category. So this type of one of the message, then that will be display. Okay, friend, I hope it's very much clear to you. And then that is our last one. I put that comma, comma. Good. So that is our rules. Where that is our required is true. And when that will be as a required in our block category, the required message will be as a please enter block category. Now I want to visible it. Okay, here for the visibility, I want to do uh, here simply I take one of the um, is pen. So I make one of the arrow element. So that is everything in our validate MJS actually. I want to use some of the functions as an error element. Okay, so that will be as an element. So that will be the error element. And into this error element, I want to declare one of the span. So that will be one of the span. Perfect. Okay, then I want to do, I want to add another function. It has, as I told you, everything actually in our this validate, which I have already loaded in our here, that is a validate main JS. So from here, I want to call some of the function. That is another one as an error placement, error placement. So into this error placement area, here I want to declare on the function. So that is our function. And into this function, there is actually the two parameter. One is the error param parameter. That is a one of the error parameter, another will be as an element. Okay, then that will another will be as an element. Great. So now I want to do here for our error. Okay, for our error, I want to use one of the class as an add class. 
So I simply added that as a add class. Add class, I want to use one of the default class as a invalid, okay, invalid feedback. Feedback, okay, so that will be as invalid feedback. Great, and now I want to apply this class. I want to apply this class in our, um, if you go, that is our input field and that is our dev so into this dev area here i want to use another class okay i want to use another class as a form form group i simply loaded that as a form group on the class so here i want to do in our particular that dev area it will be executed i name it as a form group i simply copy it now that is invalid here now i want to do i want to append it okay so i want to append this class in here so if you want to append it then that will be as another one as element right i have already take two of this one will be as an error and that will be as an element so into this element area now i want to use that as a closest Okay, closest and with this closest area here I want to do and to happen our new class that is our of, I have added as a form group so into this form group area I want to add that I want to append it so that will be the append I want to append our error right so that is our error now I want to append this error class okay so I simply added that things in here by the append method great and after that after that i want to highlight it okay i want to that is for the all all design okay that is for the all design so i want to use that as a highlight okay that will be the highlight and into this highlight that will be another function so i simply loaded that function our function here that will be passed three of this parameter one will be as element okay e l e m e n t element so that one will be as an element another will be as a error class error class okay that will be another will be as an error class another will be as a valid valid class so there is a three parameter i simply pass the three parameter and here first of all i want to do if first our element okay into this element area here i want to do and to add class so that will be the add class add class will be or uh, i want to add another class as is valid okay invalid so that is all the default one as i told you friend as invalid so as i told you if you um, simply created one time then you can actually use it multiple time as per your demand so that will be as a invalid great so i simply take it that is for the highlighted and when you execute it that when you perfectly add some of the data into the field area then our highlighted will be closed for the reason say i take another one i just name that another one as unhighlighted okay so that will be as unhighlighted so that is our unhighlight okay that will be the unhighlight function the same things element and add then that will be as a, a not add class i want to do and to remove this class okay so now there is another function as a remove remove class okay so you can see there is another function as a remove class it should be remove class which class that i have already added as a add class as a is invalid so then that will be as a remove okay friends that's all you have to do so that's all you have to do i hope every line is very much clear to you so that is a simple one of the process here by this we can actually add some of the validation now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go i refresh it now without loading that page our validation will be very interactive like i want to show you like here if you click as insert yes yes you can see without loading that page it successfully get that validation message so that is our total validation message and you can see it's now display as a please enter block category so right now everything is very will be very clear right now that is our block category i make that as a required as a true and message i that is our block category field required i'm when that will be as a required i show simply show some of the message as a please enter block category now that is our block category messages display and then i have added another highlighted you can see that is our highlighted in our um, element area i simply added one of the class as a add class add class will be as a is even valid when that will be as is invalid automatically you can see that is actually one of the borderline as a red borderline is highlighted okay and when you successfully insert some of the data i have added another one as unhighlighted okay when that will be as unhighlighted then that will be executed our another class as a remove class so like right now i want to add some of the data like here i take some of the data you can see automatically that is now unhighlighted 
okay so when that will be as empty you can see it's now successfully get that highlighted when you pass any data that means that is already fill up all the requirements because this field is required i have already added some of the data now our validation process is gone for the reasons you can see our highlighted is gone so that is our unhighlighted is executed it's remove added some of the remove class as a remove class so with this remove class here it will be remove our class okay and in particular which place it will be display it will be display in our invalid feedback here i added the closest our from group right here i have already added one of the new class you can see that is our class as a form group so now in particular that type area now everything is executed right so now if you refresh it again and now if you click it yeah you can see perfectly without loading that page our validation is executed display the messages right now they have the one field as i told you if you have that multiple field simply added that multiple field name in here and also for this field simply added another message okay that will be the same process like i show you like that will be our another field i just for education purpose i name it as a title and title i like i make it as a required and also if you want to show some of the message so that will be the same process here that will be our name our field name as a title there's a block title that will be as a required and here that will be another message as a presenter block title okay so then that will be actually display these things i hope it's very clear right now it's totally fine right now i have only one field i make it as a control z perfect okay friend how can do this work i hope it's very much clear to you so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video